Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to do pattern matching using wildcards in SQL. In SQL, we use like operator to do all the pattern matching. We have around four to five wildcard characters which we can use in SQL to do a pattern match. We will be using this orders table. If you want the data of this table, I will share the link in the description box. You can download it and import in your SQL server or any other SQL client. So let's start the video. So in SQL, if you have to filter on something, right? Let's say you want to filter on customer name, right? How you will do? You will say customer name equal to, let's say I want all the records where customer name is Andrew Allen. So I will say Andrew Allen and that's it. So this is the exact match. If I do this, I will get all the records where customer name is Andrew Allen, right? That is it. Now. My requirement is I want all the records where the customer name is starting with Andrew, which means it can be Andrew after that it can be anything Bansal, Gupta, Kumal, anything, right? So for that we have this percentage character. Now what is this percentage character? Percentage character is we can have zero or more characters. This is a wildcard character which says after Andrew you can have zero or more characters. Now there can be any characters after Andrew and all of those records will be qualified with this where statement. So if I run this, okay, we have to use like operator. When I do equal, it will just look at, look for this full string for file card character. We use like operator. So I'm just changing it to like and run it again. So if you see, we are getting Andrew Allen, all Andrews we are getting Andrew Roberts, right? So anything which is starting with Andrew will be in the output, right? Now let's say I want to do a reverse. I want all the records where the name is ending with Allen, right? So I am putting percentage before. So I'm saying anything can come and after that Allen should come, okay? Anything come and after that Allen should come and let's run this. So you see, we are getting Andrew Allen because we don't have any other customers whose name is ending with Allen, but it means that anything can come before Allen and the name should end with Allen, right? Now we can use this percentage in between also. So for example, I can say, give me all the names which are starting with A, then anything can come and then N should be there in the end. Right, so all the names will come starting with A, ending with N. So if you see Andrew Allen, Anna Gaiman, starting with A, ending with N, right? Starting with A, ending with N. So this percentage can be used to search any characters, right? We can even put like this. So percentage N, let's say ALL percentage, which means all should be there and before that anything can come and after that anything can come. Somewhere in between this all should be there. A double L should be there in somewhere in the between, anywhere in the name and it will give the results. Right? So this is also see, see A double L is there. Here also we have A double L. Here also we have A double L. So if you see this name here, we have given percentage, which means nothing is there before that. Even then it is coming. That's why I said percentage means zero or more characters. So that's why LN is also qualifying and all those names will be coming where A double L is there, right? Now the next character is underscore. Underscore is, underscore is a single character. A single character can come. So for example, I can say, give me all the names where second character is a and after that anything can come so what i'm saying underscore means a single character so if single character can come right then a should come and after that anything can come so percentage we dis discussed already so i will get all the names starting with whose second letter is a in their name right all the customers whose second character is a in customer name so if I run this now, you see all the customers where the 
second character is a in their name right sandra matt patrick darren so which means underscore means some single character if i give two underscores which means which means the third character should be a so here it can be anything it can be a also here it can be anything that can be a also but third character should be a right so this is how this underscore works let me run this so the third character if you see clear seen tracy right third character is a okay let's move on to our third wildcard character which is square brackets right anything within brackets can come which means if i say if i say a and in between i will say n and p right and percentage so what i am saying first character should be a second character can be n or p anything right it is case sensitive i will give a small n and p i am saying first character should be a second character can be either of n or p if anything comes that should qualify and then percentage which means anything can come after that let's run this again uh something is not right uh syntax error <laughs> what is not right here i think i have not selected it full let's try it again yeah so i didn't select the full this single quotes were missing i think okay so if you see the second character can be n or p so if you see all these names have n let's see if we have something second character as p no we don't have anything where second character is p Let's try something else. Uh, S, I think hopefully S should be there. Second character. Yeah, we have Ashley. You see, Ashley is also qualified. So, which means anything can come as second character, N or S. So, all the names where second character is N or second character is S will be qualified. So this is how we can use square brackets, right? Now in square brackets we have one more thing, cap, which means apart from n or s, anything can come, right? So second character can be anything apart from n or s. So it is to reverse the condition. Cap means not n and s. So we will get all the records where customers second character is nor n, neither s nor n, right? So you will get al or ad anything you will get but you will not get any name whose second character is n or s right so this is our fourth wildcard character now the last one is range range means we can give range in between so i can say give me all the names whose second character can be between b to k right so this is a range b to k so if i run this now so d comes between b and k so d is there right similarly if you see i is there i is there between b and k so any character from b to k can come as the second character in the customer name so this is how all these wildcard wildcard characters works you can have multiple combinations of each one of them you can use percentage underscore and square in the single pattern in the single pattern string all will work you can also negate it using not like so whatever you are saying it will be reverse of that so if you are saying second character can be between b and k it should start with a and then percentage so whatever results will come with that will be reverse by using not like so not like with negate whatever your pattern matching right so we are getting a names starting with c names starting with d but we want game we won't get anything which is matching this pattern now if you see how this is qualify andrew because n is not between b and k n comes after k so andrew was not qualified with this pattern matching that's why not like in not like this guy is coming okay i hope it was useful let me know if you have any questions and please share this video like this video with your friends thanks have a good day bye bye